What's up YouTube? The micro SD card was a great way to expand storage on the go. If you took a lot of photos, took a lot of video on your Android device, you could easily swap them out if you ran out of storage. Well now these are just becoming a thing of the past. Micro SD cards are no longer going to be on a lot of Android phones. And if you have an iPhone, that has never been in existence for you guys, so you never had to worry about it. But everyone does have to worry about space. Everyone does have to choose the right amount of storage when you pick up your new device. Well thanks to the iXpand wireless charger sync from SanDisk, you know no longer have to worry about storage. You no longer have to fear that storage monster that's going to let you know that you can't even take a photo. This is the almost perfect wireless charging and photo backup solution. And thanks to multiple user profiles, three people in your household can do exactly the same thing. This is the world's first fast wireless charger with an auto backup. Again, it's called the iXpand Wireless Charger Sync from SanDisk and a shout out to these guys in TechFluence. I am doing a giveaway, so if you want to win one of these for your very own, click on the link down below. It is a two week contest, so make sure to enter, make sure to share this video and you could win one for your very own. thing about the iXpand system is you do get that fast charge 10 watt of wireless charging. It is Qi compatible. So this is a great way to, to charge up your devices super fast while doing that backup in the background. And it is compatible with iOS devices and Android devices and it will charge any Qi compatible phone or accessory as well. So it's not just for phones. You can throw on your favorite buds and charge those up as well. It is a wireless charger after all. But let's just go ahead, open it up and see what we get inside of the box. Now taking a look at it, this is definitely a big system. This is probably the biggest wireless charger that I've seen, but I like it. It's going to do its thing. It's more than just a wireless charger, so I actually don't mind the size. Taking a look at the charger itself, this is how it charges, so it doesn't charge with USB-C, but it is a six foot cable, so you should have plenty of length to plug it in and get charging right away. It comes in 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, or 256 gigabytes of storage. Again, the storage is built in. The storage is something that you're gonna wanna choose depending on the size of your phone. But the great thing about the iXpand system is you have up to three profiles that you can share within your household. So if you have three devices that you wanna back up, this is a great solution for you. Well, it's the almost perfect solution because it does have a little bit of flaws that I found. Right off the bat guys you can see it is quite large but again it's not all about the size it's actually how this thing is going to perform but for size reference you can take a look at it next to Samsung's own dual wireless charging system. It's a little bit smaller but the great thing about the iX band that none of those other Qi chargers have is the ability to back up at full resolution all of your photos and all of your videos depending on the size of your phone and depending on the size of the iX band system. You also can set up up to three profiles, so three devices in your household can back up to this wireless charging system. And don't worry about someone trolling through your photos as you've backed them up because you can, you can put a pin password on it so no one's going to be able to access your photos and videos. More on that in just a little bit. You can also plug in a micro USB cable to check out your photos on your actual computer. So I like the ability to not only use the app to check out what I've backed up, but I also like the ability to plug this into a computer and check it out on a larger screen. Now the wireless Qi charging does provide up to 10 watts of power, so this is a fast charger for, the, for those devices that support it. But I found there are a couple issues with this charging system that I just want to bring to your attention. Now the first thing I do want to mention is I do like the design, even though it is quite large. I think they made a nice looking wireless Qi charger. A little LED light on the front shows you status of whether it's charging or whatnot. In order to get started, you have to download the iXpand charger application. So let's click on continue and see what it's all about. I'm not about sharing my data. The next thing it's going to ask you is if you want to allow location. And that's so that it can find the actual iXpand charger. I like this ability that you get a pin code. So this way, nobody coming over to your house can just go ahead and back up their files. Let's click on got it. Next, I want to explain how the iXpand system actually backs up your photos. You do not use any of your data from your phone. This is all done with Wi-Fi and it's all done over the 2.4 gigahertz network. And that's where my first issue comes into play with the iXpand system. But it also uses Bluetooth. It also uses your location to figure out that you're close enough to the wireless charger. This way it can automatically start a backup if you, if you walk into the house and you're close to your charger. Or if you just put your phone on it and it starts charging, you'll start a backup that way. You're actually using your own Wi-Fi network within your house to do the backup, which is a great thing, but this is where one of the issues comes into play, at least for me. The iXpand system only works on the 2.4 gigahertz network, which is fine. A lot of these wireless, a lot of these wireless devices only work on 2.4 gigahertz. But the problem that I have is I have a router and I think a lot of people with newer routers have the same setup. 
I have a router that broadcasts one SSID for both the 2.4 and the 5 GHz frequency, meaning that I can set up my legacy devices on the same SSID as my newer devices on the 5 GHz network. It also means that roaming throughout the house is a lot easier because my device will stay on the same SSID, the same Wi-Fi network, but automatically sense and automatically switch between a stronger, faster connection and a slower 2.4 GHz connection that might give me a little bit better range. But the problem is you cannot do any backup if your phone's on 5 GHz gigahertz and the iX band is on 2.4 even if it's the same SSID it just will not initiate a, a backup sequence now this is something I think could be fixed with software I'm not a developer I'm not an engineer I don't know but I'm definitely sure that they could they could fix it in a way that as long as you're on the same network as long as you're connected to the same network you'd be able to see both devices but as of right now and I have reached out to SanDisk and they did confirm that your device has to be on 2.4 and the iX band also has to be on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. That's an issue for me and it's a first world issue, I know, but I really don't want to switch over my devices solely for the purpose of backing up my photos to the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And then when I go back and troll the web and watch videos, switch it back to the 5 gigahertz, it's just a little bit too cumbersome for me. Again, I think this could be fixed with software. And if you are broadcasting multiple SSIDs, this probably won't be an issue for you. But for me, this is the one issue that I found with the iX band system. The second issue I've found, now again, I've only found two issues, but in my case, they're actually quite major. For you, they might not be major at all. But this is a review and I want to let you know what I've found because, well, that's what I do. The iX band system is quite large and, and they try to kind of make it look a little bit smaller by giving it this concave design so it's not actually really flat it actually kind of curves in a little bit and when you compare it next to a regular Qi charger which is 100% flat you can see the difference you can see they tried to give it a nice little design by raising the top here just a little bit but that's where the problem comes into play because if you have a larger device and you have a case it leaves a space in between the charger and your phone itself and this is not going to charge at all. You can see that there's a little bit of space in between your phone and the wireless charger. You can see the light from my other phone shining right through and that leaves just the right amount of space between the coils to not be able to wirelessly charge your larger devices. I think that's a huge design flaw again that's two strikes on the iXpand system because now when you walk in your house you have to automatically switch over to your 2.4 gigahertz network when you want to perform a backup but you also have to take your case off your phone. You have to put it on the charger. And I think that's just a little bit too much work. I think with version 2.0, they should just make it completely flat. And even if it has a larger footprint, as long as it does what it's designed to do, I think they'd have a much better product on their hand. But as of right now, I cannot really recommend this if you have a large phone, because when you get in your house, you're gonna plop on your phone, forget to take off your, your case. You're gonna think it's charging because the light's gonna tell you that it's charging. After about 30 seconds or so, the light's gonna start blinking and you're gonna notice your phone's not charging. So again, I think they should have just made a completely flat system and this way you'd be able to charge. I can get over the 2.4 gigahertz problem if it was able to wirelessly charge. Now those are the two issues that I've found with this. Other than that, if you have a smaller phone or you don't use any cases, I think this is a great, great product. I like the ability to back up all my photos and videos in high resolution. Now speaking of that, if you do want to win one of these for your very own, it's very simple. Click on the link that's down below, enter in the contest, and you'll be notified if you win directly from Techfluence and from SanDisk. So again guys, I think this is a great product if maybe you have a smaller iPhone or maybe you just don't use a case. This is a great product for you. Now once you've done a backup, you can go in and you can see all of your files directly from the app itself or again by plugging in a micro USB cable. If you have some large files that are on your device, it's going to let you know and you can go ahead and review them and you can delete them from your phone to give you a little bit more space if you want to. Going into the application itself, I think they did a nice job and you can see all the photos that have been backed up. If we take a look at the naked cowboy, he's always in Times Square and there's any opportunity that he has to take a photo, he's going to be there even in a snowstorm. But you can check out the photos that have been backed up on the iXpand system. It'll let you know if it's on your phone or if you've already deleted it and you can delete it from the iXpand system directly from the app itself. So again, I think they designed a nice app. You can see all of your photos that you've taken. You can also check out the photos and videos that you've taken in any particular month. You can also just see videos if you wanna see videos as well. So I think they designed a nice system and if you've backed up your contacts, it'll be right here. Now going back to the, to the main page here, you can see a little bit of status information about your phone, about the wireless charger. So out of the 256, I still have 185 gigabytes available. 
On my Pixel 5, I have 63 gigabytes available as well. You can see if it's performed a full backup. So once you've backed up all your photos and videos, you can delete it from your phone to give you more space on your actual device. You can also have it continually back up your photos when you're close to your charger. So you don't always have to put your phone on the wireless Qi charger in order for it to start a backup. Once you plug in the iXband to your computer, if you haven't set a backup, you can just go ahead and click on the folder. Now what I like about these folders is it's set up by the name of your device. Click on your device, check out all your, your files, check out all your photos and videos. It's really that simple. But if you've chosen to do a pin backup, this is, this is encrypting all of your files and I like this ability, but you do have to download an application called Private Access, enter in your login information, and then you'll be able to see all of the photos that you've backed in. Again, just giving you a little bit extra layer of security. So no matter which way you choose to back up your files, you will be able to view them directly from your computer or from the app itself. So again, I think the application is nice. I just think the overall design of the iXPand system could be improved. With version 2.0, once again, maybe give us a darker color that doesn't show all of the dirt and grime that comes on cases in everyday life and just give us a straight up flat Qi charger because this way you'll be able to charge a device no matter what type of case you have on it. And that's basically it guys. Again, I think this is an overall good device. If you have a smaller, if you have a smaller phone or if you have a phone that you don't use a case on, this is an awesome product and I can only expect that this is gonna get better. I hope SanDisk does take my recommendations because overall I think this is an awesome idea and I would like to see more products like this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. You can have one of these for your very own. I really appreciate it guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.